So now we're going to deal with the AC circuit where I have a resistor and then over here I now have a parallel between the inductor and the capacitor. And this one's a little bit trickier because we don't have one thing that's common to everything. I know that the current flowing out of the power supply is the same current that's flowing across the resistor, but that current then splits. I know the voltage of L and C are the same, and so you know, we have to find a starting place. So I'm going to start with the LC circuit here. And I don't know exactly what the voltage is, but I do know that the voltage of L and voltage of C are the same. So I know that VL and VC are equal to each other. So I'm just going to call that VLC. And so I know that ultimately I'm going to add the phasor of VLC and the phasor of VR in order to get the EMF. So let us set up at least the initial circuit here, the initial phasor diagram. I have this VLC here. I know that the in the current, so again, Eli the Iceman, for an inductor, the voltage leads. So the current for the inductor, that's an L there, uh, lags, and then for a capacitor, it leads. So this is I sub C. Again, do not know which one is bigger, so I'm just going to make an assumption that L is bigger. And so let's go on to, I need to draw that in here. So let's erase. So I have my voltage. And I have my current. Uh, if I assume IL is bigger, this just becomes IL minus IC. It's the sum of the two phasors. So that would be the current flowing into that component there. Uh, so that sum actually has to be equal to IR. And I know VR is in series with IR there. So VR has to be in, in phase with, I said in series, sorry about that, has to be in phase with IR. So those are in phase. And I know that the voltage sum here is going to be the EMF, uh, the voltage of the EMF. So the EMF squared is equal to VR squared plus VLC squared. So we're left with, I mean, I know that this is equal to I power supply times the impedance, and this is I times R, I guess squared officially. But what is that? Well, that's going to be equal to the current flowing in. Uh, that's equal to the current flowing in times something here. So we need to figure out what that something is. So let's kill that. If we think about the parallel circuit that we have, I have some current flowing in, which we've established to be IL minus I sub C. Well, that's the capacitor and that's the inductor. I know that the voltage is the same, so VC is equal to VL, which is what I was calling VLC. And I know that the current that's flowing in is equal to, also equal to IR. So IR is equal to IL minus IC. So this is voltage from the resistor over the resistance. is equal to voltage across the inductor, which we know is VLC over X sub L minus V sub C, V sub LC, since it's the voltage across there over X sub C. Uh, we can now factor this. So V 
R over R is equal to VLC times 1 over X sub L minus 1 over X sub C. Uh, actually, I want to keep this that this part right here, I want to keep in terms of the current, so that's equal to IR. And so, therefore, VLC is equal to IR over 1 over X sub L minus 1 over X sub C. So now let's go back to, so we'll keep that in mind. So go back to epsilon squared is equal to VR squared plus VLC squared. And that's equal to I squared. So this is actually I power supply squared. Z sub C squared is equal to I squared across the resistor uh, times the resistance squared plus I squared over over. 1 over x sub L minus 1 over x sub C squared because of the square right there. All the currents are the same. Current coming out of the power supply is definitely the current going across the resistor, which is the current that flows into the parallel structure there. And so if we just get rid of the I's, then we have z squared equals r squared plus 1 over 1 over x sub x sub l minus 1 over x sub c squared. And so z would be the square root of r squared plus 1 over 1 over x sub l minus 1 over x sub c squared. And there we go. There's the formula for the impedance.